tractor. What's up, Arvin? Okay. And you heard it from the mouth himself. From no hey guys, and welcome to another day in the life at Jolly Farms. Um, I'm seeing what we got going here. I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year and hope you had a happy new year and a safe new year and a Merry Christmas. So, in this video, what we're going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be telling you the plans we got. We have for Dolly Farms here, and we we are going to do everything we can to get pre-cut Christmas Christmas trees for you guys next year. So, um, sit back, enjoy the ride, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It really helps. So, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you soon. Thing. Yeah, one thing we got going here is our pumpkin patch that we'll have as you see we just had a little snow squall come through and dumped uh, I don't know dumped some snow on us and uh, we got water so we're not really too concerned about the water right now because the pumpkin patch is not ready and you know we know where the water is. basically will hold so we're going going to uh, make some ditches and dry them out. Uh, one thing we got going over here, as you'll see, we're going to be building the Elf's Workshop. Okay, it's going to be about a 16 by 24 uh, little shed building type thing that we could do ourselves in and uh, have some, you know, other Christmas assorted items and. Um, stuff like that um, now in this area right in here I got it kind of zoomed in but uh, it's a pretty big area maybe 30 by 40 ish something like that we're going to have for the tree prep area and where we could load uh, the trees on people's cars right here okay now you see right here we're going to get a road, a little dirt road going in there and um, having it come come through one side of the fence up there, coming down and turning around and going back out the other side of the fence. We have two areas that are already um, created for us, I guess, for the best part. I don't know how else to say it, but for the best part. Um, that are already made into a driveway type opening uh, for the road. I'm not sure what you call those, but, you know, we'll see. Okay, now in this area, we're going to have it for some parking. We don't imagine more than five or six people here at one time, um, but we will have, uh, you know, parking in here, or I'm also thinking maybe on the other side of the fence over there. Uh, we'll just see, have to see how it goes the first year. We'll, you know, put some in here and take some out. Okay. Okay. Now this area right in here, uh, 120 or so by about 30. We're going to have this area for the pre-cut trees. Um, we're going to for sure... Definitely do whatever we can to get these pre-cut trees in to start bringing in a little bit of income to the farm. Um, yeah, it is really wet and muddy out here and, <laughs> you know, my feet are getting wet. So, uh, right there. And we're thinking of putting up some poles and putting like a shade... Uh, a shade tarp, I guess what you call them. It's uh, like a little mesh looking tarp um, to keep that the shade out of them, off them. You know, to keep the sun off them uh, while they're being sold and displayed and stuff like that. For the display, what we're going to do is we're going to have some uh, fence stakes, uh, five or six feet tall fence stakes, 
and put them in and set the trees up on them. Okay, now back here, we have the trees that are growing. The first ones that you see here are the balsam fir. Okay, the balsam firs are growing right there. And as you see, we have some water in there. So, if that water's not down by tomorrow, I'll probably help it, help get rid of that some of that water in there. Um, when you come in, people will come in right in this area right there. And we're going to have a mean path going down that side. And, um, and uh, let people be able to walk through. Now, this isn't probably going to happen this year, but next year... Yeah, uh, we got water. <laughs> Next year, way down there, you see that little area where the creek is, and we are going to put a bridge going across it right there. Um, down past that tree, I think it's an oak tree that you see, are our Douglas firs. Then further down, we have the uh, the white spruce. On the left side of that, we have the Fraser firs, which are way down there. Um, I don't know if you can see on the other side or not, but after that, we have the Norway spruce. And over there, in the back by the blue house over there, or similar kind of by it, we're going to have the Canan or the Concolor firs. Um, not sure which, maybe even a mixture of both. And then we're going to have the Austrian and the uh, Scott Pine, or Scotch Pine, over there. Uh, we're also, one thing we're, we're thinking about doing is um, over here somewhere, I'm not sure, maybe over here somewhere, I don't, I don't know, we haven't figured it out, we're going to have a... Uh, fire pit fire pit we're not sure where but we'd like to get a fire pit going in here so people could do s'mores or roast marshmallows or even nuts I guess if they wanted to sell some nuts too maybe um, but uh, we're gonna have wreaths next year or next Christmas and uh, we're going to have Christmas trees and we're probably going to be thinking of a few other things to do um, during that time as well. But here is the... It's pretty cold out here right now. It's about 31. Uh, it's not too cold. You know, I'm not like freezing my butt off right now. But, but uh, you know, I like, I'm sure a lot of people are living in Alaska. It's 10, 20, 50 below. Are mean and uh, they're like what are you talking about <laughs> well you know I don't live up there but I used to live in Alaska so I know what they're talking about used to drive a truck so I've been to Maine at 50 degrees below zero and the wind blowing 30 mile an hour so I'm with you guys <laughs> so for now thank you for watching Live it, love it, share it. We'll see you next time. And be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you later on at Jelly Farms.